I'm gonna start this video off with a serious question. Would you rather have a smartphone that quick charges or would you rather have a smartphone battery that lasts all day long? Today I've partnered with OnePlus to talk about charging habits and no this is not one of those videos where I show you their new phone and tell you to go buy it. This one is just a purely spark conversation around the study that they did with the NPD group. They surveyed over 1,000 people that bought smartphones over $600 in the last 12 months and some of these findings are really interesting so let's talk about it. Okay, so when you go buy a new smartphone, do you even care what the charging length is? You guys know that I do comparisons to smartphones all the time. So if I showed you these popular flagship phones, do charging times even play a role in making a buying decision? The NPD group study actually splits it almost down the middle, 49% for interested and 51% for not. I'm not gonna sit here and bore you with a full length charging test, but if you were to walk into a store in the United States, these are your flagship choices, all great phones by the way. I'm gonna start first with the OnePlus 10T because this is the fastest charging you can get on a smartphone right now in North America and Canada. I started this test with about 2% charge, so here is me plugging it in, but I'm going to speed it up just to keep things short and sweet. Now look at this after five minutes, it already has 27% charge, which is amazing, but the one I think a lot of people will use is this one. After 10 minutes, the OnePlus 10T has 52% charge on it, that's incredibly fast. If you only had 15 minutes, then you're going to be looking at 73% charge, which is more than likely enough for you to get through the entire day. And while I didn't get to 100% in 20 minutes, it was really close and finished to 100% in just a minute or so later. So isn't that insane? For reference, the Galaxy S22 Ultra comes in second with over 60% in 30 minutes, but it does take about an hour to fully charge the phone. The iPhone 14 Pro Max does pretty good within 30 minutes. It gives you about 40 to 50% charge, but it takes way over an hour to fully charge the phone. And the Pixel 7 Pro takes the longest. It does okay within 30 minutes, about 40% charge, but it can take almost two hours to fully charge. So it's not even close when it comes to charging times between these phones. After seeing this, are you frustrated with the charging times on your smartphone that you currently own? Looks like 43% of respondents reported at least somewhat frustrated with the time it takes to fully charge their phones, so you aren't alone if you wish that your phone charged faster. So when people were asked in the survey if they would be interested in a smartphone that charged this fast, the answer was overwhelmingly yes, 68%. But the data that hit me hard was that it dropped by 15 points when asked about fast wireless charging. I personally find it convenient, especially in the car, but the phone gets hot almost all the time when I use it, so let me know if you have the same experience. Another thing to consider is what comes inside the box when you buy one of these smartphones. Most flagship smartphones now do not come with a charging brick anymore, so you'll have to buy one if you don't have one already. Thank goodness that great GAN chargers have hit the market and they aren't too expensive. But I do appreciate OnePlus continuing to commit to including the fast charger in the box. Over three fourths of respondents say that it's important that a wall charger and charging cable are included in the box with the price of the phone. Do you agree? The study shows that the majority of respondents are using wire chargers. Next is car charging and then it trickles down to wireless charging and power banks. So wire charging is still very important to the consumer. Okay, so when looking through the data, I found this very interesting. If most people just charge at home or their office, then why does fast charging even matter? Well, I also found this to be critical. Over 45% of people charge their phones twice a day and 17% two times a day and 7% four times a day. This means that 69% of people charge at least twice a day and only 31% of people charge once per day. This is shocking to me. Where do you fall on this chart? That goes to show you that our battery tech isn't quite there yet, and it all depends on how you use your phone. Everybody uses their phone differently, so they have different results. But normally I can make it through an entire day, but sometimes I do have to top up in the middle of the day, and I think that's where fast charging really makes a difference. If you can charge your phone for only 10 minutes and get over 50% charge, how would that change your daily life? My wife is notorious for not charging her phone at night, like a lot of us, we put that show on when we're going to sleep and forget to charge, but that is okay when you have such fast charging because by the time that you take a shower, brush your teeth, and get dressed, you could have a fully charged phone. So that is a game changer. 
I travel a ton, so this applies here as well. Sometimes you only have 10 to 20 minutes before you board that flight and you didn't charge your phone last night. This is where fast charging is so killer because you can just juice up super quick before you go on the flight or on the flight so you don't miss out on movies and all the things that you need to catch up on. So what about the concerns with fast charging? If I fast charge my phone like this all the time, will it hurt my battery and will it degrade faster? I don't think a lot of people know that the technology is managed very well. The heat of the battery is the concern and if you ever used a OnePlus 10T before, a lot of the heat is transferred to the charging brick so that's balanced very well between the phone and that protects the battery. As I mentioned earlier, I feel that my phone gets hotter using wireless charging and nobody really questions that. And if you have electric vehicles, you fast charge those all the time. My Teslas, I used to supercharge twice a week and after years, I still had great battery life and range. The survey shows that people are concerned that they will damage their batteries with overnight charging and frequent wire charging. But with today's technology, I wouldn't worry about it too much. Especially with the way that we upgrade here in the United States every two to three years, I don't even think the battery has time to degrade, so I guess it just depends on how long you keep your phone. Also, if you didn't know, OnePlus phones have optimized night charging. It reduces battery aging, it learns your charging routine, so it can control that charging speed at night so it can protect the battery. With 63% of respondents reporting feeling concerned about their smartphone battery dying when they're out and about without a place to plug in, this is a very interesting study. I know this will vary from country to country, but this is very insightful on charging habits and what people really want in a smartphone. What I really want is the best of both worlds. I want the best battery, I want the fastest charging, and I want there to be a charging brick included in the box if it adds to the flagship experience. So let me know. Do you appreciate OnePlus's approach to the smartphone? They are moving forward with fast charging for convenience and they are including the charging brick and cable in the box and you are getting great battery life as well. So is this something that you wanna continue seeing from OnePlus? In the US and Canada, this is the fastest charging available right now. So is this something that you're interested in? And if you are, then how would you use it? So that about does it. I hope you enjoyed this one. This one was different, but I found it extremely interesting. So I wanna know from you, what piece of data did you find the most interesting in this data and survey? I'll see you guys in the next one.